All right, check it out, another project. Believe it or not, this is a 1984 Honda Big Red 200. Uh, it's in a few pieces, but uh, let's get this baby unloaded and see if we can get it running. All right, me and my assistant got her unloaded, so Apparently it runs, it just has a starting issue. So the electric start is not working, so the guy kind of took it all apart to, to get the electric start working. If you do put power to the starter, it does turn over. Um, it is missing a battery. And then the recoil, I just popped that off. It is pretty seized. So I'm gonna try to kind of unseize this and then uh, we can see if it'll run. What do you think, think we can get it running? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so step one, let's uh, try to get this recoil recoiling again, and then uh, we can get this baby running. Well, uh, rigging up my uh, quick battery jumper there, and just putting the power on the starter, and hooking up a quick uh, fuel thing, it, uh, it runs really good. Wow. No smoke at all? That's awesome. All right, uh, let's try to button this up a little bit and make it look nice. All right, I was looking at one of the fenders and it is cracked. You can see there's a big crack here and a big crack here. So I've been using this plastic welding gun. You just put a piece of metal in there and you pull the trigger. It heats it up and then you press it in there. And you let go of the trigger and then you pull it up and then it puts these in there so i will clean up these cracks and then uh see how well it holds but uh it's been working pretty good so far all right update on this old big red i ended up getting some new tires for the back you know it was like 100 bucks a tire and then like 20 bucks to get them put on at the uh, local fleet farm but uh as far as the electric start issue, I found out the neutral and reverse were just light bulbs that need to be replaced. Um, and then as far as the electric start not working, there is a broken wire right there. And then there's also a broken wire coming out of the starter over on this side. So I'm gonna get those fixed up. It does work right now. As you can see, it runs really well, so. I'm gonna uh, clean up these wires, get them connected better, and then uh, we can start getting all the plastics back on. Um, oh yeah, I did get a, a, just an aftermarket plastic tank. I figured why not just get one that doesn't leak so uh, we can ride it around a little bit. So uh, let's get this uh, cleaned up. All right, here it is, the final product. This big red has come together quite nicely. What do you think, you like it? Yeah. So just a quick overview. I got new tires on the rear. This is where I kind of welded the plastic together. It's staying together nicely. It's painted the back racks. Um, it didn't do anything with the seat. There's that aftermarket ta uh, gas tank I got with some new graphics. Uh, the one thing I don't like is this huge gap right here, so. That's, that's one thing I really don't like. Um, I got the brakes working. Uh, the light works. The front tire seems to hold air, so I didn't really do much with that. But uh, yeah, it's looking nice. The big thing is the electric start. And there's, I got a hitch on the back right there. But the electric start wasn't working, so it really wasn't starting. But you wanna try to see if it'll work here? This is basically was just a couple frayed wires, it looked like. So neutral light is working, and then electric start. You want to know how to put it in reverse? It's kind of cool. This, this has reverse, so you just lift that button, and you put it in reverse, and then you shift down. Ah. Uh, now it's you gotta make sure it's fully in there. Try it now. There you go. 
Alright, you want to get it out and shift up. Get it back in neutral. And then you gotta lift that right there. And make sure it's in high. There's a high, low, and reverse, which is pretty cool. And then shift down. Take for a quick rip. All right, looking good. All right, turned out pretty nice. What do you think, babe? You wanna go for a ride? All right, we can go for a quick ride. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.